normally the aorta arises from the left ventricle and pulmonary artery from the right ventricle in transposition of great arteries this is reversed so that aorta arises from the right ventricle and pulmonary artery from the left ventricle left ventricle is the left lower chamber of the heart and aorta the largest blood vessel carrying oxygenated blood to the whole body pulmonary artery carries blood to the lungs from right ventricle for oxygenation when the aorta is connected to the right ventricle the blood returning from the body after oxygen extraction is pumped back to the body there is no chance for blood to get oxygenated from the lungs normally the blood returns from the body to the right ventricle and gets pumped to the lungs it reaches the left ventricle only after oxygenation from the lungs in transposition this does not happen so life is impossible in transposition of great arteries unless there is a good mixing of the blood within the heart by a defect in the wall between the upper or lower chambers these mandatory defects could be atrial septal defect asd between the upper chambers or a ventricular septal defect vsd between the lower chambers alternatively a connection between the pulmonary artery and the aorta which is normally there in the baby in the womb fetus can persist after birth causing a mixing this is known as patent ductus arteriosus pda when there is a good mixing part of the mixed blood goes to lungs for oxygenation and life is possible sometimes a baby may be born with a very small communication between the upper chambers this defect will not provide sufficient mixing and the baby will be blue due to poor oxygen content of the blood emergency treatment given then is to prevent the normal closure of the ductus arteriosus after birth by giving medication this medication has to be given as a continuous drip please view the full version of this video at my cardiology talks channel and subscribe for updates useful for early career medicos and paramedics link given below this video